Hi, um, is tipping a part of the game that you really enjoy or is it a part of the game that you fear? If it's the latter, I think I've got a simple solution for you. If you could make a putting stroke, I believe I can help you chip the golf ball very, very simply. Um, I've got a pitching wedge here. I'm actually going to set up just like I would do for putting. So I'm going to make my putting grip. That's the way that I quite like to hold. It's what's called a reverse overlap, but it doesn't matter how you hold the putter. My feet are relatively close together. I'm going to stand nice and tall. Don't want to get too low. Again, a lot of people who start to fear chipping go right down the grip and that makes it, uh, makes it harder. So let's use the length of the golf club first. And I'm literally just going to chip this just onto the edge of the green. There is a pin that's a bit further back, but I just want to show you how easy it is to lift this up onto the green. So I'm going to make my normal putting setup, my normal putting grip, and I'm going to make a putting stroke. And all we've done there is allowed the loft of the golf club to lift the ball in the air. I'm not trying to lift it, as you see a lot of people doing it. Very neutral at setup, so I'm not shoving my hands way forward again. The, the, the issue with that is you start to de loft the golf club, and if we've got less loft on it, we'll try and put it on one way or another, probably using the wrists a little bit more or leaning back to try and put loft back on. We don't need to do that, let's keep the shaft nice and level. And all we're doing is making a putting stroke. And that's just lifting the golf ball onto the green really, really easily. Now let's say we have to hit the ball a little bit further, so the pin could be in the middle of the green. What, it, what you could then do is change the loft of your golf club. So I've now gone to a seven iron, which has got a little bit less loft, which will send the ball a bit further. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. Nice putting setup, putting grip, make a putting stroke. And now the ball's gone to the middle of the green. I know you can't quite see from there, but it's just landed into the middle. And let's say you've got a really long green and the pin's right at the back. I've got the rescue club and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing again. So I'm making my putting setup, putting grip, putting stroke. And now the ball's run right to the back of the green. So if you're struggling with your chipping, um, don't try to make it too fancy. If you can make a putting stroke, I've got a pitchy wedge here. If you can make a putting stroke, there's no reason at all why you can't chip if we use the loft on the club correctly. Uh, let's hope this little bit of advice helps you. And as always, if I can be of any help, uh, message me or have a look on my website, juliemillergolfschool.com. Please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, there's got to be more videos coming out that, uh, that, sh that you should find helpful. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.